What's up, bros? We are here with one of my favorite people in the entire world. Um, uh, the man in charge of everything, Mr. Paul Bab. In charge of everything? In my life, oh, at least. Wow. <laughs> Does your wife know this? Other than my wife. Oh, okay. You're, you're going to have to compete with her. Um, but uh, Paul Babb, for you guys who don't know, is the uh, president and CEO of Maxon USA, or yeah. North America. No, Maxon the Americas. The Americas. North okay. and South America. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, so if you, if, if you have any problems, come to Paul. Now, actually, go to Rick, right? Go to Rick. Well, they can come to, to me, but I'll send them to Rick. Yeah. <laughs> or Matthias. Or... So, uh, first off, I wanted to thank you for bringing us out and letting us do this. Um, uh, it, it's kind of an honor to be here amongst all the greats and just kind of presenting. So, thank you for that, first off. Well, um, you guys are one of the greats. Oh, I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So, um, uh, the new R R18 came out last year, yes. and I felt like it was a super, it was a good leap, you know, introducing the Verona fracture and stuff like that. Um, where do you see the future of Cinema 4D going uh, uh, here soon? If there's anything you can talk about, I don't know how much you can talk about. Well, we're never allowed to talk about right, new versions and things right. like that, but, you know, it's, it's always about facilitating artists. It's about getting, you know, improving the tools that we already have so that people can work faster. It's about improving the application overall and it's about bringing those new features that are going to make a difference in people's workflow absolutely um, uh, uh, to kind of change the subject um, so this this community cinema, the the max on cinema 40 community it's we're so close like it's incredible and I feel like you're kind of at the forefront of that especially with uh, the media motion ball and stuff like that and all these kind of events that you put together um, uh, I don't know. What's your what's your thought process behind that? Why 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 go the extra mile like that? I mean, okay, uh, we always or I always, um, you know, in my background, I worked as an art director and a and a copywriter in the ad industries. I worked in marketing for years before I got into operations and those types of things. And so I know what it's like to be an artist. I know what I need as an artist, and I know what I want to hear as an artist. And when we came into the market, or when I brought Cinema 4D to the US market, we really focused on talking to the artist first. I think a lot of you know, maybe business people would probably think, well, okay, I'm gonna go talk to the corporations, I'm gonna to talk to the CEOs, or I'm gonna to talk to the buyer and try to get him to buy 20 copies and get it out to all their artists. What I wanted to do was, or more enjoy doing, is talking to the people in the trenches and figure that's where you're going to get the great feedback. That's where you're going to find out what you need to do to get it in the market. And then they're the ones that bring the tools into the studios. And so community is a big part of that. And artists are inspired by other people's art. So we've always tried to facilitate that as well. So facilitate, like, like what we're doing with the show. We're not doing product demos. We have you guys come out, show the work that you're doing with Cinema 4D. That inspires the artists that are watching that. They want to learn how to do it. They've got their own ideas. And you probably have watched a presentation from some of these people and went, oh, and it sparked an idea for you to do something. That's, that's what I think this, this community is all about. And then, yeah, we've spent a lot of time uh, fostering community through events like the Media Motion Ball, the, the Pinball Party last night, uh, even online communities. We've gone out of our way to try to facilitate things in online communities. We do everything we can to facilitate user groups because user groups are inspiring, you know, it's especially for the... The newbies, the you know the, the the aspiring artist who wants to get into it, they want to hang out. I mean, your your guys are turning into those guys that they're they want to hang out with. You know, it's funny you guys are running around wanting to hang out with Andrew, but there are people yeah. are, are going, we're the Prograph guys. So I don't know, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's it's there, it's there. But I, I think it's I think it has a lot to do with uh, having been part of that community myself at one point and and knowing what that community as as far as I'm concerned what that what they they want to hear and see, and. It makes it more fun. It does. You know, you know, hanging with artists is a lot of fun, and and to create, you know, sharing that creativity, and you know, my favorite thing at a trade show is people, is all the artists looking at the clouds, going, "What a great shader!" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or seeing a different uh, way of doing a specific thing exactly. and being like, oh man, I'm spending 20 minutes on that. I never even yeah. thought of doing it yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we do that all the time. There'll be an artist that'll show something. I'll go, God, what a great way to use that tool. I never even thought of that. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. So uh, let's talk render engines. Okay. okay? Uh, 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 so there's like probably about uh, 150 million different render <laughs> engines. 
you know, coming out. Yeah. Um, uh, do you have any thoughts on like the future of render engines or anything like that? I, I, I mean, I know that's that's a very loaded question and stuff. Well, well it's, you know, it's again, it's about the art. I, I yeah. think I think every like every 3D package, every rendering engine has its pluses and its minuses. You know, um, Octane ha is fast and pretty. Has some That's why I use it. Yeah, has some <laughs> limitations as well, but and and it, you then you've got Arnold, who's is just gorgeous. But you're going to wait a little longer, right. you know. And yeah. then everything in between, you know, you can even do things straight out of cinema. That it, it's, it, I I see all the time artists that are turning out amazing work with whatever tools they've got and the ones that they're comfortable with. Um, there's still guys that I know that are uh, still using older tools because they just are so comfortable in it. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's, you know, what is the artist gonna, you know, what's what's easiest for the artist to use that makes them feel the most creative, that gives them the results they want. And sometimes you'll see an amazing piece of work and you go, what did you use? And, and they use something archaic and, you know, it doesn't matter as long as it comes out looking pretty and, you know. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, so okay, so you're fostering this whole like community and stuff. I really feel like you're at the forefront of it as being the CEO, and you're like, you know, you're kind of putting your money where your mouth is, you know, bringing out all the artists and stuff like that. And so you know, we loved that about you, you know, and so that's why we really you know, we're making those jokes that yeah, Paul Bab 2020 hashtag feel the Bab like really this this is the type of president couldn't do worse. <laughs> this is the type of president that we're looking for. So no thoughts about running for 2020. <laughs> Nothing official you want to announce now. No, no. I don't think I could draw enough. I don't think either. I don't think either party would like me enough. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think I'd piss them both off in different ways. I don't know. Maybe that's what we need, right? Exactly. Well, you know, it's. It, I do feel that we've gotten away, we've gotten into establishments and gotten away from people. And that's, you're right, building community is was a way we built our business through building community. And that's would be a great way of, of getting things better in our country, too, is... is getting people together, yeah. working together, yeah. Not to get political on it. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, Paul, thank you so much for being with thank us. Thank you. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to have a whole lot more videos for you guys coming up. Make sure and check it out throughout the channel between uh, iDesign and BroGraph as we're doing the, the BroGraph EJ stuff. Later. <laughs>